the flamingo. Whether you've seen it on your neighbor's front yard in all its tacky lawn ornament glory, or wearing sunglasses on a postcard from Florida, there are always two consistent traits about the bird. It's pink, and it's standing on one leg with its knee bent, backwards. While no one can deny the leggy bird its signature color, that backwards knee thing, not so fast. Where you think their knees are, are actually their ankles. Right. And that whole area from their knee, which is the ankle, down to their foot is their foot. Right. It's kind of like they're walking on tippy toes. So Jorge was trying to like, do the position himself, what would it look like? I'd be on my tippy toes. He'd be on his, yeah. This is my knee, but my knee would be like up here. Right. Confused? Let's break it down. Here's a flamingo's leg. The first joint you see on the lower part of the leg, and what looks like its ankle, is really where its toes begin. Then the next joint up, its so-called knee, is actually its ankle and heel. Its real knee is tucked away in the feathers under its body. And while flamingos really are pink, sometimes they're not, like when they're babies or new parents. Here at the Smithsonian's National Zoo, their flock of 50 adult Caribbean flamingos recently grew by seven chicks. In the wild, couples build a nest of mud on the ground and take turns sitting on their single egg. Is it pink? No, the egg is white. Okay. Um, and when the chicks are born, they're also white. They'll gradually get their pinkness from their parents. When the parents feed the chick and both parents feed the chick, they drool um, a crop milk into the chick's mouth. And as they're feeding the chick, over time, they're actually transferring pigments into the chick. So the chick starts to turn pink, but the parents actually start to kind of fade out. The pink hue comes from a pigment called carotenoid, found in the flamingo's steady diet of algae, shrimp, and other crustaceans. At the zoo, it comes from an artificial pigment in their pellet food. Are there other animals that have similar traits in terms of what they eat turns them certain yep. colors? Um, very similar, same process that makes um, salmon pink, but you couldn't like give them something with blue pigments in it and turn them Yeah, blue. I was going to say, like yeah. if you fed them blueberries. Right, it wouldn't work. No. They're, they're just, they're programmed to respond to the carotenoids in the food that they eat. And when they eat, they have a peculiar way of doing so. I know that they eat upside down, or they're with their heads kind mm -hmm. of upside down in the water. Why is that? Well, the way their bill is designed, um, it's, they're, it's almost kind of like if you had a, a strainer and you were straining spaghetti, and you put the spaghetti in and you kind of shook it out. Well, that's the way the inside of the bill is. And don't let the flamingo's delicate appearance fool you. These birds are tough. There's uh, a couple species from South America that are actually live up high, high altitudes where it does get snowy. So flamingos are very tough. And then the ones in Africa live in these, you know, caustic uh, soda lakes where if you were to walk in there, it would just burn your skin. They're also very mean. They bite hard and they bite and they pinch and they're not nice birds. 